Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. So it is officially summer. So today I thought I'd make a video on 10 unique things to do this summer. So while we're still in the midst of quarantine, it may be hard to go far or go for your dream vacation, but here are 10 things you can do at home or close to home. And my friend Julianne, who has been on this channel before, will also be joining later on. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing you can do is to reconnect with old friends or to make some new friends. So I've had this goal for myself to connect with at least one person a day, whether that's over FaceTime or just texting or even better in real life. And I noticed just doing this always lightens the mood for every single day and gives me a little serotonin boost every time I talk to someone. The second thing to do is some bullet journaling or just normal journaling or even some goal setting for the summer. Every week I've been doing at least one piece of journaling, usually on the weekends, and that just helps me to release stress and also just reflect on the week while getting ready for the new one. This is a spread that I did of my priorities recently and thank you to Peach Soda Shop on Instagram for these adorable stickers. I also made a summer goal spread if you're looking for some inspo for your summer goals. Here's a little bonus tip. So a friend once told me that when you set your goals, focus on the action instead of certain position. If your ultimate goal is to be a doctor, instead of just writing down be a doctor, think about it. What is it about being a doctor that makes you want to be one? Your shifted goal may be something like being able to help other people or being able to impact others' lives or saving others' lives. And that is a goal that is way more attractive and you'll always feel the motivation to work towards. So just a little tip to keep in mind when you're setting out your summer goals. The third way is to intentionally create memories. The thing about memories is that a lot of the time we sit around and wait for them to happen. But what if we took the step and intentionally planned them? So at the start of every month, see what events are around you. It could be in real life or it could be online and just ask your friends to attend it with you and physically schedule it into your planner so that you have no chance of forgetting about it or just letting it slide. This is your sign to not be afraid to be the planner of your group. If we want memories that will remember years from now, it's up to us to create it. Number four is to have a passion project. So a passion project is something that you're interested in and you take the summertime to really pursue and dive into that interest. So for example, this summer I'm focusing a lot on my blog. I'm going to really grow my blog and create more meaningful content. And if you haven't checked it out already, I just made a video on how to start your own blog in 2020. So I'll link that down below for you to check out. But a passion project could practically be anything. You can start your own online shop, you can start a photography account and start doing shoots around your city, you can start your own cooking or baking series and just make your own recipe book. It can really be anything you want it to be. Some great places to start are Coursera. I've taken two courses on there. They're all free and they're from some of the top universities in the world, so that's awesome. And also YouTube. There is so much educational content on YouTube, especially in the realm of personal development and self-love. Some YouTubers I love watching are Michelle B, Lavendaire, and Rowena Tsai. Another thing to do this summer is to switch up your workplace. So I've been working in my backyard a lot more. It's more sunny and I can have a chance to hang out with my dog who is currently chewing rocks. So that's what the noise in the background is. I've also been documenting each day in a 15 second TikTok video and while that may seem small, it just reminds me of what I did every single day and it's also fun to look back on. 
I encourage you to do the same, whether it's by making a video every day, journaling, or simply checking off the things on your to-do list, have a reminder of what you did every single day or else the days will start to blur together. Julianne will be taking over the next five tips. Hi everybody, this is Julianne from FindingJulianne.com. You can also find me on Instagram at FindingJulianne. I'm super excited to be here, chilling in my backyard to have a chat with Karen today about our ultimate summer to-do list. I know that summer is probably looking a little different this year with social distancing rules still in place, but we are determined to help you build the perfect summer bucket list. So tip number one is going to be try a new hobby. And if you can't tell from the fact that I brought my ukulele out here, I think that learning an instrument is an awesome, awesome thing that you could do to improve yourself this summer. The ukulele in particular is pretty easy to learn and relatively inexpensive as far as instruments go. So I definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to start on a musical journey. You also could look into trying a hobby like maybe jogging, maybe you could try painting, knitting, crocheting. There's so many things you can do. So if you've had something in the back of your mind that you've always wanted to try, why not make this summer the year that you actually try it out? Tip two is going to be to declutter your space. So if you're like me, you've probably got a lot of clothes that you never wear anymore. Maybe some makeup that was gifted to you, you used once and you never used again. Why not take this summer as an opportunity to get that stuff out of your space once and for all? And there's tons of ways that you can do that. I'm sure that there's some charities in your area that are accepting clothing donations, or you could check out actually selling your items. You could look into Facebook Marketplace or even some online marketplaces like Poshmark or Depop. That way your old stuff can turn into some new cash in your pocket for the summer. Suggestion number three is going to be that you challenge yourself a little bit this summer. So anyone who follows my blog knows that I recently did a 10,000 steps a day challenge where I tried to do 10,000 steps a day for three weeks. It was a lot of steps. You also could try a yoga challenge. I, for example, really love yoga with Adrienne on YouTube. She has a lot of great 30 day challenges. You could just try to draw every day, maybe journal every day. Challenge yourself to do something that pushes you outside of your comfort zone just a little. You never know where you'll end up at the end of that challenge. Suggestion number four is super near and dear to my heart, and that's that you take some time to volunteer this summer. So if you've got a little extra time on your hands, why not use that time to give back? Not only do you have the opportunity to put some good out into the world, but I promise you that whatever good you put out gets multiplied back to you times a thousand. It is the best feeling to get out there and help. Especially if you pick a charity or a cause that's really close to your heart, being able to spend some time giving back is gonna make your summer a million times better. Tip number five is a super fun one, and that is to take a staycation. So this might change depending on where in the world you are. Um, if you're still pretty locked down, this might be kind of tricky for the time being, but hopefully as the summer continues, things will open up a little bit and you can get on a little vacation. So this is probably not the summer to be hopping on a plane and flying to a tropical island, but it's the perfect summer to discover something really special a little closer to home. Maybe you can take a little road trip, maybe find an Airbnb with some friends that you guys can crash in for the weekend. Just take some time exploring the world around you. And this is great for so many reasons. First of all, you get a fun vacation, but second of all, you'll also be supporting the local economy and some smaller businesses that might be struggling a little more this year. Thank you so much to Karen for having me on today. It was so fun chatting about all the ways that you can have the best summer ever. Even if this year is going to be a little different, I know you have it in you to take whatever gets thrown your way and turn it into an amazing summer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you some ideas of how to spend your summer. If you have any other ideas, be sure to comment them down below and be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you very soon. Have a good day.